Hello, today I wanted to talk about message sending in Electron between the, the Electron backend or main uh, process and the Electron frontend or the renderer process. Um, it's actually not really that difficult, but I wanted to mention a quick pattern that I will be following in my own application. This is an application for a little event called the shippening. Um, it's a, uh, a I guess 72 hour hackathon, but kind of very loosely. It's just a bunch of people um, virtually getting together on a Discord server mm -hmm. to talk about it and build an app and whatever else. Um, and so I wanted to talk about uh, what I'm doing here to be able to communicate from the renderer process to the main process. Um, so one thing I wanted to mention real quick is that I have a build pi pipeline that I've built. I made a video about it and made some assumptions about that video that didn't work out. So you will see a little bit of a mix of um, TypeScript and JavaScript. Luckily, my build process is able to handle it. So the way to communicate between the renderer and the main process is very similar to, or I would say is similar to how um, you can communicate between a worker and a main process in uh, a browser. Uh, basically, on each side, you are able to listen in on messages and send messages back. Um, Electron has a way of sending synchronous messages, but I want to talk about asynchronous. Really, it works the same exact way. It's just you. It's a different event that you listen on. So I built a small library called the Electron Communicator. Um, it doesn't do anything other than just showcase that you can uh, you can communicate from one to the other. Uh, on the main thread, uh, the main uh, thread, which is the one that runs the Electron, would be like the Electron app.js or whatever else. Um, you want to uh, import the IPC main f uh, IPC main um, object from the Electron from Electron right here. I'm injecting it, so I'll show you what that looks like. Or rather, here I am. This is the main process, so I'm importing IPC main and passing it to my communicator. And in my co communicator, I can listen in on a variety of different things happening, and so d different events. Um, you can listen to asynchronous messages, which means that anything that gets sent uh, as an asynchronous event or an asynchronous message event, you'll get a notification, or rather, the callback gets run for that. Um, the event um, is an object that allows you to send a message back, uh, and the argument is whatever the actual message is that was sent over. Uh, that can be a string, an object, and whatever else. Uh, note that you cannot send functions and things like that over, just plain objects, strings, numbers, whatever else, things like that. Um, so whenever we get our message, uh, we'll go ahead and just log out what the message was, and then we're gonna send back a Pong response. Um, on the front end side, and I have a little bit of JSX, I am importing this transponder ponder thing, but what I'm doing is I'm importing uh, the IPC renderer uh, from Electron, um, from the from yeah from the Electron module, and this uh, package can only be used by the front end, and so on the front end, we can go ahead and again listen to asynchronous reply, uh, which is you know message that's going to be sent right back, and we can send asynchronous messages, which is great as well, which is amazing I think. Um, I believe you can also listen to uh, listen on asynchronous messages in general, not just responses back from that event. Um, so you should be able to uh, set up global listeners by, by listening on asynchronous message, um, and or you can just listen to the response that you get back. Uh, so here on Bootstrap, we're just going to send a message out to the backend with ping, and the backend should respond back with a pong. Let's see if that happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill everything. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go ahead and start the Electron process. Um, you can see that I have TypeScript building it and then it runs. And we should see, yep, we, we got a ping from the front end and let's check our developer tools. And we got a pong back from the back end. So the messaging is very simple. It works like this. Um, what I recommend, what I highly, highly recommend is building your own internal protocol as to how the messaging works. Um, I think the best way to do it is by treating it like um, HTTP re request response type of thing, um, where you create, you can create a very simple router, you can create a very simple, uh, yeah, a very simple router so that when you send a message, you know, you don't just send ping to the ether, but you know, maybe you, what I'm planning to do is sending over an object that says, 
you know, path and we'll have API slash users. Um, and then I'll want to send over also um, uh, the request type, right? So it's going to be a get or request action maybe. Uh, it's going to be a get in any data, which is going to be nothing because it's a get request. And uh, packaging your messages this way will make it much easier for you to grow your application. Um, I've looked at several different patterns and talked to a bunch of people on the Electron Slack. And this is pretty much the, the, the preferred method of doing things is, is just basically treating it like HTTP. And what's actually cool is that you can create your own... Um, what's called a uh, protocol, uh, which allows you to send these messages like HTTP as well. Uh, but yeah, I would recommend doing this and then having on the main thread, having a listener that will kind of sort out the messages and just kind of build an interface around that. And again, on the front end, doing the same thing, you know, having a, I'm gonna be building out this library more and I'll post it in the, in the description if I open source it. But yeah, this is what you might wanna do. I hope this was helpful. Uh, I hope you get a little bit of a handle here. You can see that I uh, handle on, on communication between the main thread and the renderer. You can see that I did, I do have these in the same file because I wanted like a common interface for these. Um, but yeah, and, and injecting the IPC main. Just remember, you know, IPC main is the thing that you wanna uh, import on your main thread, on your backend, so to speak. IPC renderer is on the front end, and it really is just these evented messages that you're sending back and forth. Um, yeah, I hope that was helpful, and you know, look out for more videos about Electron from me.